Sarah. Um, we are starting a new series today, The Fox. I've had a lot of requests and um, really looking forward to sharing this with you guys. Um, if you are just joining us and have not already watched the initial, I think it's six or so episodes, I really recommend that you do that because because I cover a lot of the methods and techniques that I use over and over again. Um, but in those initial episodes, I cover them very thoroughly, and I won't um, go over them in as much detail as we're building the fox. Um, this time I'm going to use the actual kit that we um, have in our Etsy shop to follow along with the video so that you guys can see what's in the supply kit and see me you know, use exactly what it is that, that you're getting. So today, um, the first thing that we need to do is build our armature and then it gets wrapped in pipe cleaner so uh, we're going to get to that okay so in the kit this is um, your all your top colors detail colors and there are four pipe cleaners core wool, and two armature wires. So one of your armature wires is longer than the other. We start with the short one, and we fold it in half. I take the tips, the bottom, the tips together, and then locate the center. This is going to be your fox's nose. So we want to get this pinched pretty tightly. You can use um, little needle nose pliers to get that nice and tight. And then this becomes the the head, neck, and and front legs. So it's important to twist the wires evenly so that they marry together properly. I take my finger and my thumb and put equal pressure. So the head is about a little over an inch, and then the neck is a little over an inch. So you have something that looks like like this, and you just these are going to be the front legs. So you just leave them open for now. Then you take your second wire, and you find the center, and this time just find the center and then open it um, into, a, into a mountain. And now you take your long wire and you put the V at the base of the neck. So now you have a short wire that's going to be the front leg and the long wire coming back that's going to be the back and the hind legs. And right here in his shoulder you want to twist a really tight even two times around. So two times around means that this comes around to you one time and then two times. And I'll do the other side. One time and two times. So now we take the long wires together and you don't have to squish this. You want to leave that space for the fox's chest. So there'll be a kind of a triangle shape here. And then just gently twist them together. Foxes are pretty much square. Their backs are about as long as their legs are. They appear um, long in the back, but they aren't really. So the, the hind legs get a gentle forward bend, and I just do that by taking my thumb and pushing forward, and then they get their hock. And your, your, your wire may be a little bit long. You may have to trim it. So I'm going to put a little bend where his ankles are. I'm going to do the same here. And then I just check to see if he's square. Okay, 
So his hind feet are a little long. Well, they're not too bad. And then um, you take your pliers and you grab the very, very tip of the toe and bend it around just so that you don't have any pokey wire coming out the ends of his feet. You want it to be rounded. Plus that kind of helps shape his, uh, his paws. It doesn't matter whether you go to the inside or outside. Just don't go up like, a, like an elf shoe. You want it to be flat to the, to the table. Okay, so now we need to cover him with um, pipe cleaner. Helps the wool stick, makes it really easy to wrap wool on. So you have four pipe cleaners in your kit. They will all be dark colors, um, but if they're, if they're black, use the two black ones first on his legs because we want the tip of the pipe cleaner. If it does show a little bit, um, you won't see it as much if it's black because it just bends into the wool color. But you're going to wrap good feet and you're not going to have any pipe cleaner showing. So I fold it in half and I place the pipe cleaner over the base of the neck and then so each half of the pipe cleaner comes down one leg. And I just wrap loosely. You're not trying to hide all of the wire. You're just, you're just trying to get a layer of pipe cleaner on there. And I'll do the other leg. These might be a little long. I'm going to go ahead and do the hind legs and then I'll show you how to um, fold the end over. Same thing, just go over the base of the, the back of the back, wrap down each leg, wrap in a direction that's comfortable because you want to wrap your wool in the same direction that you are now wrapping the pipe cleaner. If you go against the pipe cleaner, um, it makes bumps. So with the very end, you just want to fold it back over this metal toe. Nothing fancy, just just fold it back over. So this one is a little long, and so are the front front pieces. I'm just going to cut them until I have about a quarter of an inch to fold back over that toe. Okay, next we'll put on the, um, cover the body and create the tail. Okay, so now we need to put some pipe cleaner on the head, neck, body, and create the tail. And to do this, you're going to use the other two pipe cleaners. If you start at the nose, and I actually usually start back here, but I think this is going to be easier. Um, and just fold a quarter inch back over the nose. That will secure that end. And then you want to, I'm going to have to think. I'm going to wrap this way. Start wrapping back the head, down the neck. Just go between the front legs and then down the back, and that should leave you about two inches of pipe cleaner sticking off. So then this one, you want to start, so this pipe cleaner is sticking up off the top of his back. This one you want to start on his body, wrap the same direction that you just wrapped the initial pipe cleaner, and this one you can have come between his hind legs. So now you have one on the top and one coming between the hind legs. So then if you twist these two together, it will be nicely centered off of his, the end of his back. And then this is, you know, this is a choice that the length of the tail, um, it's about as long as the body. So you just fold the pipe cleaner over and give it a twist. And there you have it. Your armature ready for your fox.
Okay, so we've got our armature ready to go. Um, next, we're going to start by wrapping. And initially, we will use the black on the legs and then start building up um, the body with the cinnamon-colored um, core roving. So I'll see you then. Thanks. Mm -hmm.